useful, useful. That was the word. I always say, and it is true that I'm really lucky because I have a sewing room, a place to do my hobbies, and I can leave everything as it is if I don't finish in time and come back the next day and finish everything. I don't have to pick after myself. Everything can just stay as it is and no one will touch it because it's a room that it has no other use. But the truth is that most people don't have a spare room to do this and most sewing happens in dining tables or even the cutting happens on the floor wherever there's a bit of room and then you have to uh, pick up everything because life goes on. So I thought to make like a foldable mat in which you can leave everything, fold it and then it will be ready for you the minute you unroll it. And for this I have these felts. They are 90 centimeters wide and they're, they're the ones I always use for um, crafts. Uh, but I use these ones, I have two meter long ones to uh, put as a background on the videos when I'm cutting, when I'm doing stuff so you see different colors on each video but these two colors are a pain I haven't used them for um, a long time because when I edit I can never get the, the colors right this is a lovely orangey neon pinkish color but it's really bright and next to my skin, I don't know, something weird happens and I, it, it's really dark on the camera and it's not as dark and the same with the blue. I think they are too bright and they, if I get the color right, then the rest of the things look weird. So it's just like, it takes the whole light of everything. So I haven't used them for a long time and I'm going to use it for this. And even though I always say that I like sewing, you see, uh, things I'm going to use useful useful that was the word I like sewing but of course I don't like to waste money sewing something I'm not going to use so I think even though I have a sewing room this is useful if you have a few projects at the same time going on because you can fold it and go on with something else and come back to it and it'll be ready for you the right where you left it so the plan is to cut this two meters so it has a bigger central piece and then some flaps that will fold so when you roll it, it everything stays in place and nothing falls out and the flaps will have pockets I don't think it's good to have pockets in the middle bit because that's the bit that's going to be where you're cutting and things like that and the other ones are just going to make sure that nothing falls out the good thing about this project is that you can make it the way you like it I'm going to make uh, two big pockets to cut two big pockets for the magazines and the cutting sheets and then the other ones I'm going to make three are going to be for little things like scissors and things like that. The side flaps are going to be 40 centimeters wide. Mm, I'm telling you this is just the way you like it, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to round the edges that go on the inside. All the exterior bits are going to be in the blue one and the inner flaps are going to be on the pinkish orangey neon thing and uh, for that one I'm going to make like two halves rounded bits that are going to be a bit shorter than the background so you don't overlap them when so it it's just so it's easier later when you unfold it and when you open it so you don't have uh, a seam that doesn't let you do so and anyways you don't have to get right to the corner because uh, nothing will slip through there I think and the pockets for the pockets you see it doesn't show the color that's not the color I'm seeing it's not this is well I'm glad I'm going to use it for something 
So for the pockets, I just traced around the um, pattern magazines. Uh, you just do it. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be a measurement in particular. And for the other pockets on the other side, I made them a bit shorter because they're going to be for tools. I'm going to start by sewing the pockets and I'm going to use some pins and just top stitch uh, on top. I really like working with felt because it's it's very versatile. It's very um, you can make almost anything you want. You can even make 3D stuff because uh, it holds the shape. Like for example, the the cactus here I made. So I leave you a link. Oh, look at this! It's so oh, terrible. Does that happen to you? Do you have broken pins as well? So I'll leave you a link in the description box and at the end of the video as well. And the little pocket in the middle, I made it hollow, so it hasn't got a bottom. So you can put your scissors, maybe a pen or even a ruler that can go all the way down to the pocket underneath, but stays in place and don't move around. And when you come to the little curvy bits, just go a bit slower. And make sure you keep uh, spinning your fabric so you get all the curve. And now that I have all my pieces ready, I can sew everything together. I'm going to start with the two orange bits, although you can also start uh, the other way around with the blue sides because they don't get right to the corner, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to start with the orange ones that uh, go right on top of the background. And I'm going to keep sewing in the orange thread with the orange thread because it looks, it looks nice. And next is the two blue sides with pockets. Be careful of which side is which because you can end up with the wrong sides or even the pockets upside down. So just take your time and to align them. And on the outside, I'm going to sew some ribbon, some cotton ribbon, in case you want to tie it up if you're taking it somewhere or putting it away and you don't want it to unfold. It'll be useful as well. Two pieces. So this is so big that I'm going to do my best to show you, but this is how it will look with everything inside.
I really think it turned out great and it's useful. Nothing is moving from this and when I folded it and unfolded it, everything stays in place. The good thing about uh, felt is like, it's almost like a Velcro. Anything will stick to it so they stay in place, your fabrics will stay in place. And the bad thing about Velcro, the disadvantage, is that everything sticks to it. So you're going to have threads even before you start sewing. But anyways, I think it's useful and you can do it the size you want to. For example, if your table or where you usually work is a bit smaller, you can uh, make it a bit shorter are bigger as well. So let me know down in the comments what you think, if you think it's useful, if you're going to make one and don't forget to subscribe if you like your uh, this kind of content because I upload twice a week and that way you don't miss anything and I leave you a link here to other videos we felt I've made that have been really good. The pyjama keeper for my boy, the costume I just made him and for example the tech pouch or little projects like the pink cushion, a party hat and some glasses case. See you around! Uh, the, the next day. <laughs>